Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW 5 Series F10 guys and you're trying to uh, find, locate or replace brake vacuum booster pump guys, stay with us, we'll explain what needs to be done to remove and replace it. Quick introduction guys, every single car we get at the shop, including this BMW here guys, we make at least 200 videos. And the story on that BMW, we'll probably have more than 300-400 videos. We take them completely apart guys, simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now, if you guys need to uh, buy any replacement parts, new brake booster pump, uh, new feeding on the bottom, that's a weak spot on that, stay with us, we'll explain all that. We'll have the link in the description of the video below for your convenience. So, let me first explain what we're doing here, guys, and then we'll switch back to the pump. Now, this is, guys, a 2013 BMW with only 87,000 miles, and as a result, guys, okay, it developed a timing chain failure. Okay, timing chain, guys, broken. Check it out on this side here. Okay, all that is broken, guys. Uh, timing chain skip treated on the intake camshaft. The guide itself is in pieces in the oil pan of the car, guys. So if you have a car with that engine, check out the video, guys, about timing chain failure and how to remove and replace timing chain. We have the whole video complete guide from start to finish. So make sure, guys, you check it out. Now. That being said guys, we'll go ahead and show you, okay, this is the pump, I'll explain about the bolts now. This pump is on the back side of your engine. Now, we guys removed our valve cover, okay, in order to be able uh, to get to the timing chain. So, that guys, okay, that pump, mm, okay, gets inside on the back side of the valve cover guys, on the back side. So, you either need to remove... Okay, even if you're removing the valve cover, you still have to remove that pump. Now, that pump, guys, has three bolts. Okay, right there. One, two, three bolts. And that's how it's positioned on the engine. It will be right there, okay, on that camshaft. Now, this is a weak spot that breaks and it's fixable. You can replace it, that plastic fitting for the hose here. You just remove it, guys. Okay, and that thing, you can replace it. Uh, another thing, okay, you can disconnect that hose there as well. Those are the three bolts and there, guys, okay, with Torx, okay, Torx 40 star looking bit. Okay, let me grab it quick. Okay, and let me show you what we use. This is the bit, guys, and, okay, come on, focus. Perfect. And uh, you need to use a very short bit like that. You cannot use a socket with a ratchet because you don't have enough clearance on the back. So what I did, okay, let us show you. We grab the bit on the back side, hold it with your hands, and with the wrench, get it loose. The moment you get it, you get the bolts loose, guys, okay, about one revolution, half a revolution, you can unscrew them by hand super easy. But that's, okay, you can see, that's where they're located, guys. And after you unscrew all three bolts, you just pull it straight up. After that, disconnect the hoses, okay, we have one hose here, this one squish, both ends, and pull the pump out. This is, guys, the pump, as you can see, and you later align it and get it stuck okay on the intake camshaft so if you need to buy a new one we'll have the link in the description of the video below if you need to rebuild yours we'll have the link as well thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time